Hey, you know, Johnny, a lot of people who are into politics may remember this name. I don't know if you will or not. Uh, do you remember the name Lauren Southern? No. Lauren Southern was like a hard right. She kind of came up just before the Trump days. Uh, she okay, was. Okay, face is familiar. Yeah. That's her. Lauren yeah. Southern was this super hot chick who would talk about super right wing stuff. Like she would get heavy into like race and like she was out there with the Stefan Molyneux and people like that. Like she, she was like banned from different countries in Europe. I believe she was a Canadian chick and she would do a lot of like pretty white girl rabble rousing. Can't about, see that at all from her. Yeah. About like the left and shit. Well, she ran into this problem that a lot of people like Lauren Southern and others ran into, and that is once they'd kind of said everything they needed to say, done all the shock jock uh, migrant boat bits that, you know, she could do, there was nowhere really to go and people lost interest in her or she lived too much of her life on the internet. People kind of exposed some things about her, the, the level of autism in that far right community, they would pick her apart. And she just kind of went, oh my God, oh, for my mental health, I need to step away from the internet. Well, then she got married. She had a kid and you would think, okay, this is Lauren Southern. She's walking away from the internet. She's past that point in her life. She probably made a pretty penny and she's going to head out. Well, Lauren Southern resurfaced last week with like a, 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 a whole fucking book on Twitter about what she's been through since she's walked away. You know, how, you know how I tell people when it comes to politics, stop idolizing people, stop worshiping people, stop thinking these people walk on water? Lauren right. Southern is a great example of why you don't do it. These people are not only genuinely monumentally flawed, they're usually way more fucking psychotic than you are. Anybody who looks up to Lauren Southern and goes, oh, yeah, I really uh, idolize her. Don't. You have your shit together way more. I don't Lauren know if Southern it's does. A, a common thing or if it's just something I feel like is becoming more common, but I just kind of feel like anyone that wants to be in charge is a huge piece of shit. Like anyone's like, you know what? I want to tell everyone how things should work and the ways that, yeah, you're probably a huge piece of yeah. shit. Um, and, and Johnny, I don't mean to say that Lauren Southern uh, became a stereotype. But she was a pretty white girl who went far right wing on YouTube, uh, got married, had a kid, had mental health troubles, ran off a husband, and is now penniless and raising her child alone. Uh, again, I'm not saying that Lauren Southern became a stereotype. I'm just saying that things seem to work out a certain way. Uh, you know, it's all these people who tell you how you should live your life because she's like, oh, I need to find a man and become a mom. And this is the way women should do it. And feminism is awful and blah, blah, blah. And I may agree with her on all those points. But she was one of those people that shoved that shit down people's throats. And then what happens? She ends up a fucking statistic. She ends up a data point. She ends up a stereotype. Oh, I have to walk away from my mental health. Oh, my, ma oh, my husband left me. Oh, he's a bad guy. Oh, I have to now raise this child all by myself. I mean, it's so you're it, saying she's single. All right. Yeah. She kind of became the thing she railed against. I can uh, fix her and it'll only take a rail. <laughs> the social media influencer has been involved, involved in a number of controversies and her actions have been publicly scrutinized by different governments, which she has addressed in her lengthy Twitter post. However, her intention with the recent tweet and the video on YouTube detailing the same wasn't to slander anyone, but only to get things off her chest and let people know influencers don't have it as easy as many assume. Now, the, the story of what happened with her husband is fucking insane. And we're only getting Lauren Southern's side of it, so I don't know. Let me pull up the video. Uh and and show you guys I'm what sure I'm talking she about. wouldn't lie well would she the thing about yeah here it is the last five years oh my god it's an hour and 12 minutes long can somebody get me I gotta find a news thing that has clips of this because I you gotta she, break this down she goes on for an hour and 12 minutes 
about her life. Lauren Southern, last five years. We're going to maybe take a look at uh, at maybe ah, a, a different clip of this. Should have sent it to me last night. I would have broken it all down. Yeah, here we go. We've got, uh, we got some parts of it here. Uh, so she talked about her husband. And apparently her husband, she claims, was a fed. Australian fed. And the, again, this is just her side of the story. So you're going to have to take this all with a grain of salt. She claims that she fell in love with this guy. He was great. He, she, she knew he was a fed. But what ended up happening was being married to Lauren Southern limited his career and that he couldn't advance if he was married to Lauren Southern. They had a kid together, but he had to leave her and the kid because he chose his career over her and decided that, well, you're Lauren Southern, and you're kind of crazy, and you're a political activist, and they won't move me up in the bureau or whatever the fuck it is uh, if I'm married to you. You know, because it's, it's such a bastion of... Uh you know, of, of truth and honesty, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do something like that. I mean, these are the people that keep an eye on the, the wheels of power. You know, they don't, they don't serve the administrations. They, they hold them to account. She says her life has been utterly batshit insane for the last four to five years. She then goes on to talk about her relationship with her husband, who she met when she was on a hiatus from YouTube. The kind of work she did was apparently outside his purview. So he was a fed but he wasn't working on Lauren Southern type shit. He wasn't working on right-wing grifting Canadian YouTubers, uh, which is a very specific uh, uh, frame of reference for them. Lauren claims her unidentified husband worked for the feds and led a James Bond lifestyle. Honey, he was cheating on you all the time and lying about what he did. Oh, yeah, he was disarming bombs and he was, you know, disabling global plots to take over the world and drinking martinis. But owing to his association with her, his security clearance was downgraded and his access to certain jobs and promotions became limited. Now, far be it for me to say that a pretty blonde single mom from Canada is maybe lying to make herself look better or to excuse away her failures. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that maybe this guy's job as a Fed was never that high level of a thing. And he just didn't advance very far in his work. And blaming her just seemed convenient. I'm wondering if that even happened in terms of the blaming her for that. Right. I feel like it's really easy for her to go, oh, you're just giving up me for your career because he literally got so sick of her. He's like, fuck it. I will work extra hours. Just don't make me go home. Well, and to bring up the grifting part of this, how about the fact that this chick was like, oh, the feds are terrible and there's a conspiracy and, you know, the establishment wants us dead and they're awful and this and that. And then she goes and marries a, a fed. Then don't marry one. That's the thing. You took all these people's money for all these years thinking you were fighting this fight only to go and marry a fed. If you actually believe, this would be like Alex Jones marrying a CIA agent. If he did that, it would mean everything he said before was bullshit. Because that person's very existence is an affront to everything Alex Jones believes in. You wouldn't marry that. Uh, I married him because I was in love and we shared the same values. Catholic, conservative, with aspirations towards marriage and family. That's all it takes? Not even taste in movies? Favorite music? <laughs> Hobbies? You had a giant black cock. <laughs> well... I mean, why Why didn't you say so? Yum, yum. That was yum. a signing bonus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. However, cracks began to appear in their marriage when they settled into a mundane routine, Southern said, with her husband uh, losing his high-level position in his job because he was married to Lauren Southern. She claims he took out his resentment on her and eventually proposed divorce. And again, I've got a grifty single mom telling me this. I bet if we found this guy and we asked him what happened, we would get a far different story. Because one thing I know about single moms, it was never their fault. They are always the victim. 
and the other guy's uh, a gaslighter and problematic, and he's a terrible guy. So uh, it, it just seems weird. I'm not getting any more promotions. Yeah, you know that relationship you were in and that marriage you had and you told everyone around the office? Yeah, we just finally found out that the wife, uh, who you kept saying was Lauren Southern, is actually, you know, Lauren Southern. So we got to we gotta, we gotta hold you again yeah. here. Sorry. She wrote... They uh, knew who she was beforehand. Right. They knew who she was. It's not like this was a new thing. You know, one, thing's that, uh, one thing that intelligence agencies keep up on is the private lives of their agents. She wrote, his final one being my ADHD. When I say there was no deeper complaint, I mean it. It was always very vague, with all who heard it equally perplexed by what steps could be taken. Oh, yeah, all my friends and family that I talked to said that I'm in the right, too, and that he's crazy. When I told them exactly what I wanted them to hear, they were all totally on my side. Dude, she, Lauren Southern is sounding textbook as fuck. And by the way, it probably wasn't ADHD. It was probably depression. I've never heard a guy say, oh, yeah, man, too much ADHD for me. I had to get out of there. I mean, look, I talked to all the simps that continually follow me and support me, and they said I did nothing wrong. Right. I, you know, I told all my friends and family members the story exactly how I wanted them to hear it, and they were all very confused at what a psycho lunatic he was. Right, right, right. I suppose if you don't wish to stay married, picking something someone cannot change about themselves is a surefire way to do it, Lauren. Ch now, Lauren, Miss Southern, I have read very, like some clips of your entire one-minute rant, and I'm already exhausted by you. I can't imagine being married to you, having a child with you, and everything else. Now, she claims that he left them high and dry, Johnny, and she's been living in a cabin in a trailer park. Down by the river. Down by the river since this guy left. She put a one-hour video on YouTube about it. Am I the only one smelling grift here? Does she ask for support? I mean, does does strong, independent, conservative values woman who doesn't believe the government should be giving handouts to these immigrants who don't deserve anything, people should pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Venmo link at the bottom if you could help out. Yes. Great. And... I just love that, like, you, you look back years later at these people that you watched on YouTube and you, you go, oh, yeah, I really love her. Lauren Southern's great. She's really fighting for us. And then you find out she's just like everybody else. She's nuts. She doesn't have her shit together. She ne Here's your first warning sign. She had to take a break from YouTube for her mental health. Bitch, you went and, like, harassed migrant boats that were coming from, like, Libya to Italy. You would go out on boats and, like, try to board theirs and harass their boats. And you're sitting here going, oh, yeah, just my mental health is so bad for me harassing migrants in the Mediterranean Sea. Oh, my God. My fists are so, so sore from punching all these people in the face. I have to take a break from I my health. I really am a victim. Uh, Lauren Southern. Look, man, if, if you were a Lauren Southern fan back in the day, I'm not saying you're a piece of shit and whatever. I'm just saying next time, pick your heroes carefully and don't worship any YouTube political people because chances are they're insane. In fact, all of the women from that rebel media were nuts. Faith Goldie was insane. Lauren Southern's crazy. They all end up walking away because they need mental health help. And then they go get husbands and have kids. And then they run them off and then talk about how, you know, I bet you her next grift is that she becomes progressive. She's like, I've realized that the dream of having a man and a child is not the only way a woman can be fulfilled. And that, you know, we need to open our, our minds and hearts to different ideas. And I, I bet you that's coming. I just. I'll respect it if these if if these people are honest and they just come out and they say, "Hey, look, I'm a lady, fucking nuts." I'll be like, "All right, I got it, and agreed, and we're good." King of all diff says, "Sometimes I really hate Aaron. She's not a hero, and nobody worships her." Do it about six, seven years ago. There were people who thought Lauren Southern. Oh yeah, she's really fighting for the West. She's real. Oh man, she is. She made some South Africa documentary. Um, oh, Africa, brave Africa. Yeah, and like about, you know, the, the farmers and stuff like that. And 
I don't know. I've never seen it, but like for her to end up the way she's ended up, it's like, it's a little too perfect. You know, it's a little too like all the people who watch this shit and go, eh, something ain't right with these people. It's, this is their, I called it moment. Uh, Matt Field says, uh, you know, she got ran through by blacked pigeon speed. <laughs> Jesus. And every African she talked to in South Africa. People have been saying in the chat that her husband was black and all that stuff. And I don't know. It, it is kind of funny because if you looked at the way she felt. I was making a joke. I had no idea. I, I don't know either. So I, I, you know, can't comment and all that. But uh, the whole thing is just the whole Lauren Southern arc. It, the fact that it ended in a cabin in a trailer park with her as a single mom getting left by her fed husband is a little too on the nose. 